Hi, this is Mark Clark with QT Manufacturing Solutions. I want to show you a feature in Mastercam about how to create um, tool paths for the same part or multiple vices or fixtures as you program. So here I've already completed a complete program to cut this part of what I want to cut. I have a full setup, just a visualization. You don't have to go through this step, but I took a machine out of our machine sim, grabbed some vices from Kurt, put them in the Mastercam file, separated them all onto levels and layers so it's well organized all the way through the part so I can toggle one on and off of what I want to see and as I go through stuff, program it apart, I just may want to see this, maybe run it through the full verify or be able to see my parts and make sure they're all going to where they're going. Might want to see this one. So it just, just depends on how much you want to see. We'll, we'll start off right here. So I have this part completely programmed or at least the options I like to show you, here's a few dynamic tool paths. We'll just throw them all up there. I could toggle between them, hit on the 2D stuff to profile and finish. Maybe a chip breaker inside the tool path, toggle stuff that I want on to see. So just have completely finished that part. I like in Mastercam to have my operations pick the work offset that I would really like to use. The easiest, fastest way to pick the work offset you like to use is through the plane manager. And inside the plane manager, here's my zero. And I want Mastercam to use work offset number one. Some machines, that would be G55. An Akuma, that would be the first offset, G15H1. And now, when I go back to my operations, they're all pre-assigned already, so that would be... G55 or work offset uh, one in, a, in an Akuma. As I posted some code, really doesn't matter of what that work offset is because we will change them as we create the tool paths. But I want to need to do is program this whole table full of parts. I could come back and program this one, program this one, but that's time time uh, taking and it just take a long time to get, get uh, done. If I am in my part and I have this one done, we could use transform to move geometry, but here under the toolpath tab, I could use transform to move toolpaths. So I will select all of my toolpaths. I will select the toolpath method I want to transform them. We'll also select Assign new work offset, starting at 1, incrementing by 1. And we'll do it by NCI file as we generate this toolpath. I want to translate it. I want to make four copies of this geometry all the way across. We got one in the Y. And these vices are shown 15 inches apart. Do they have to be exactly 15 inches apart when you set up on the machine? No, absolutely not. It's just to help visualize it inside Mastercam. Now when I generate this toolpath, I get the other three vices all done. If I would run this in Mastercam from beginning to end, it would cut the first part complete. It's just the way I have my transformation set up right now. Now if I go through and cut the rest of the parts, it would run the uh, tool on this part, run the tool on this part, run the tool on this part, and save tool changes. There could be some more streamlining done with multiple transformations in this part if you needed to, just because of the operations I have, but here is the idea of how to get this done. I really want to cut all these at once with the least number of tool changes possible. Here are the parameters of the transform, I can copy the source operation and ghost the sources, which will now include the first set of operations regenerate. These are now ghosted. Now it cuts this part complete. Not complete. This cuts the tool on this part, cuts the toolpath on this part, cuts the toolpath on this part, and it repeats all the way through. We can show you this in Verify. So... I have a verify setup just to show the parts. Why would I want to only show the parts? Because I have configured, have configured 
that my my fixtures are already turned on and verified. So we'll run this as a part, stock setup all the way through, run verify. We do have a limitation in Mastercam that in Mastercam, and we can kind of hide this box around a little bit, in my stock setup, I can only specify one piece of stock right here. It's all it allows me to pick in stock setup. We'll show you how to how to uh, overcome that here shortly. So if I want to see it on the first part, and this is only showing on the solid right there, um, slow it down a little bit. We'll run it. Programs the first part. Tool runs in the first one. Go. Comes over and cuts the second one. Comes over and cuts the third one, cuts the fourth one. Come back and cut the pocket. Now, if I wanted all these operations at once on one part, I would have to do my transforms a little different. I would have multiple transforms by selecting each group of operations and not just this whole part. A little more time consuming, but all depends on what you want for cycle time. But I want to see my stock all the way on all four vices. Like I said earlier, Mastercam only allows me to have one piece of stock per stock setup. But in the stock model, and now we're going to call this a toolpath because that's how you would create it, is stock model toolpath right up here from the tab or right mouse click and get it from toolpath stock model. I could pick as many solids as I needed to to, to define my stock. Right now, out of my levels, I have four solids out there to describe my stock. So here in my stock model toolpath, I've selected those four solids. In my verify selection, I'm going to say pick my stock model. Now I'll be able to go back and I only really need to post and verify this first, this transformed operation right here to be able to see that. So there's my stock. We could show it no stock. We could show it solid, show it translucent. It's kind of my favorite. My fixtures are right behind there. Now they're translucent. Now they're gone. How much would you like to see? Um, collision report. I like to see the collision report as I go through. Nice, slow back plot to show you as it cuts across everything. Like I said, we could do a little bit more refining in the operations manager of each one of those up, each part's cut in the tool correctly, all that correctly, but a little more refined if we needed to. But this gets you just of how to cut multiple parts with just programming one with four, six, eight, ten vices. It really doesn't matter how you go and multiple work offsets all the way through the part. Very, very simple, and I don't have any collisions. And we've actually machined all four of those all in one set up as, as I've done. This is a very, very simple, easy example to do. We talk a little bit more in our uh, Master Cam Power Users class or Advanced 2D to how to transform this on a fourth axis or a horizontal fourth axis. Like to know some more, uh, give us a call, let us know. And if there's anything that I've discussed in this video, please drop us a line and, and maybe we'll it'll be our next topic of videos. Really appreciate your time. Uh, thank you. Let us know what we can do for you.